Hey friends, I hope you all are doing happy, healthy, and well on this Wednesday afternoon. You're staying warm and staying dry wherever you are, even if it's already warm and dry wherever you are. We are back again, and I promise you, this is going to be the last video for a while centering around Panini Spectra. I know like the last four videos, it seems, have had to do with that, but this is the last one, I promise. And we have here... You can see, this isn't an eBay Steals, but I put the price on it anyway, just because I figured, why not? I like doing that, apparently. I like using my Sharpies. I don't know why. But it was $7, and it wasn't just one card that I got. As you can see, I got a whole stack of cards. And we are going to go through these, and I'll show you what was in this. They weren't uh, packaged exceedingly well. Uh, some of them aren't even in sleeves. Some of them are in sleeves. There's just a random top loader that I'll find a use for. But we will go through these as soon as I find a way to get them out. Painter's tape is great, except when it's, like, actually on the cards. <laughs> okay, there we go. And we have, right on the very front from the Tampa Bay Rays, Mr. Hunter Renfro. Let me make sure the focus is good. There we go. Hunter Renfro from the Tampa Bay Rays, jersey card there. Again, I don't think any of these are numbered, but I just like Penny Spectra and the look of them. So these, an excellent, excellent buy from me. Uh, J.P. Crawford, good young shortstop. Here he is with the Seattle Mariners. I like that card a lot. I like him a lot. He has some crazy defensive highlights. If you ever get bored and want to look up baseball videos, J.P. Crawford is a good person to uh, look up some highlights from. Mo moving on, we have uh, Kevin Biggio. Now, I got this exact same card last week, and I it was just part of the lot, so I figured I'd get it anyway. But if anyone wants an extra Kevin Biggio Spectra jersey card, I'll sell this one for $800. No, I'm not actually going to. If anyone wants it, they can have it. I, I don't need two. Behind that one, we have Steven Piscotti from the Oakland Athletics. I like him a lot, too. He was with the Cardinals for a bit, and then he got traded to the Oakland Athletics. Um, I don't know. He's a good, he's a fun outfielder to watch. And, yeah, fan of his. Brandon Belt from the San Francisco Giants. Not a fan of his because I don't like the Giants. So, uh, yeah, don't know what to do with this card. Maybe I'll send it to my... Uh, cousin in in Northern California who does like the San Francisco Giants, along with that uh, Buster Posey card that I got them. And then the final card that was a part of this lot, Trey Mancini, the only one that actually came in a top loader, Trey Mancini, Mancini from the Baltimore Orioles. So happy that he is healthy now and back on the field. He got a standing ovation in his uh, first at-bat in spring training and just super cool to see him back on the field after uh, battling cancer. So good for him and an awesome card to get as part of that lot. Again, I got six cards here. Uh, only paid $7 for those six cards. You can see all of them right there. And we'll go through them again. Brandon Belt, Stephen Piscotti, Kevin Biggio, which I now have two of, J.P. Crawford, Hunter Renfro, and that Trey Mancini. So thank you guys so much for watching. I promise Tomorrow's video, because I've already recorded it, will not have anything to do with <laughs> Panini Spectra. So don't worry about that. We'll take a break from it. And yeah. So anyways, I hope you guys are doing happy, healthy, and well. God bless you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.